So today what I want to do is go ahead and try and make my own striping kit. There's a couple of pretty popular kits on the market right now, one from uh, Toro and one from Big League Lawns, and both are pretty costly, pretty expensive, and if you're not looking to pay that much money for one of those striping kits, then you can go ahead and make your own. So I wanna to demonstrate today that it is possible to make your own kit and it's possible to do it for a fraction of the price. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanna start just by going over the parts list so you'll know um, what you'll need in order to do this. And all total, I think I was under $50 for all these parts and it shouldn't take too long to put together and if I want to take it off it shouldn't be too hard either and we'll go through all of that. So to start off I have a three inch plastic PVC pipe and a cap for each end. I'm going to drill a half inch hole in those caps to run this metal, um, I think it's stainless steel uh, and then the ends are threaded a little bit and I've got caps for that too. It's half inch stainless steel uh, slightly longer than the PVC. Uh, this is going on the back of my Toro Time Master and I will go ahead and um, put a diagram together just so you know the measurements. I'll put everything in the description below. So check the description for this video for a parts list and measurements to fit the Toro Time Master. Uh, if you're using a standard 21 inch, 22 inch deck then you're going to have to measure um, yourself. These brackets will be attached to the frame of the Time Master and I'm not drilling any extra holes. There's already a hole on either side there and I will bolt those on to the side. From there I'm going to run these threaded eye bolts. These are 3 8 inch uh, eye bolts. They're five and a half inches long. Eye bolts will connect from the bracket to the stainless steel rod and the caps will hold those on and keep it from falling off the side. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna fill the inside of the three inch pipe with just loose gravel and that should give it enough weight to you know, lay the grass blades down and it should work out pretty nice. First thing I'm gonna do is find the center of these three inch caps and I have a hole saw here. This is a one inch hole saw and it should be perfect size for me. So let's find the center. Two inches across. Another thing that you might consider doing um, when you need to make sure that your um, hole is spot on in the center is to take a um, just a pinhole starter here and that will help me find the exact center And get my hole started. So now it's given me something that I can put the bit into where I won't lose that mark. So what I want to do now is just get this flap out of the way while I'm working and I'm just going to use a bungee cord for that. So there's a hole in the frame just right here above the letters on each side. So we'll go ahead and use that to connect the bracket to the frame itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dry fit everything in here before I fill this up just to make sure everything's gonna work. Probably gonna take a little bit off the edge of this bracket here just so it sits flush with at least the edge of the wheelbase.
Okay, dry fitting is done and uh, everything's in place. You can kind of get an idea of how it's gonna look and go on here. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, one little change I'm gonna make is to put another bolt, another 3 h inch bolt in here to just kind of hold on to this bracket better. And I think that will work out really nicely just to have those two bolts pinching against the bracket, holding it more secure. But it should be fine. Um, yeah, this thing's rolling, should be good. And then I'm going to cut off um, the bracket here just so it sits more flush with everything. So if you remember back when I was uh, making improvements to my fountain, uh, you'll remember that I replaced all of the gravel that was inside of the, the main fountain base with um, plastic water bottles. I reused those and um, made it a lot easier for maintenance and things like that. I still have all of the gravel that I took out of there. It's just been sitting in this wheelbarrow in my garage. And I think what I'm gonna do is just repurpose this and use it for this. So I have two different kinds to choose from. I have um, a larger size uh, gravel or I have like this kind of shale. Uh, I think it's called mountain granite. Yeah, that's in this bag too. I think this will be easier to get in and fill in more. If I don't like how it feels, if I feel like I want more weight, then I can take this out really easily and, and try the other kind. So yeah, I think I'll start with this and see how it goes. go it's filled all the way up to the top you can probably get a couple more in there it's not really gonna make a difference in weight but it is heavy and I think that will be plenty of weight for me so let's go ahead and get everything on tighten it up and test it out Okay, everything's tightened up, ready to go. I'm really excited to try this out. It's looking really nice. It's rolling nicely forwards and backwards on uh, the concrete. I think it should transfer over to the grass pretty similarly. So with that, let's get mowing. All right, the front yard is done. Everything looks really nice and clean. I went ahead and just quickly edged everything, cleaned up the edges, cleared off the clippings from the sidewalks, and the stripes turned out really nice. The front yard is still a little beat up and still recovering from the dethatch I did about a week and a half, two weeks ago almost now. But yeah, it's coming back. It's looking pretty good. Not exactly where I want it to be, but it'll get there in another couple weeks or so. So I think the real test of the striping kit is gonna take place in the backyard where everything's still really thick and we should get a nice, really defined stripe out of that backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and then just kind of close up with initial thoughts, a little review and tell you what I think overall of how this is working out.
Okay, I'm all set. I'm all done mowing for the day. Fun little project to put that stripe kit together. Had a lot of fun doing it. Um, just a couple of final thoughts. I did have to stop mowing a couple times and tighten the bolts that connected the bracket to the frame of the mower. Um, although that did fix the problem of the bracket not completely falling off, um, it did create a new problem in that every time I turned around on the mower, you know, you raise the front wheels up to kind of pivot on the back wheels. Because the bolts were so tight, it pushed the roller up. Uh, and so I found myself having to push the roller back down into the grass as I would turn. So I need to figure out a way to keep the, the bolt and the nut that connect the bracket to the frame of the mower tight, but at the same time have enough uh, leeway for that bracket to move freely so I don't have to continue to push the roller into the grass every time I turn around. So of course it's a work in progress. If you have any ideas for me, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'm more than happy to hear what you guys think and what you guys recommend. Um, I've gotten tons of great suggestions from, from you guys in the past and I really appreciate the support. So if you have anything to add to this or any ways you think that it could be a little bit better, let me know. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for me today. The grass looks really good. It's, it's nice to have it cut. It's been about a week since I've been able to do it. So I'm happy to have it done. So with that, that's gonna go ahead and finish things up for me today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.